What's up, I'm Mason the Mason. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to lay a block wall. So I got all my corners built. If you wanna learn how to do that, how to lay it out, I got tons of videos about that, go check them out. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you how to run some walls in. I just did a video on how to put the string lines up. So if you wanna learn how to do that, that that's there too. First thing you wanna do is make sure this footer's cleaned off from one more. And then uh, sweep her off. All right, first thing you wanna do is learn how to spread your mud. So I guess uh, since you're set up, that's where you're at, you ain't moving. So I do it just like brick, all right? I roll it and I flop her out. I scoop up half of it, send some more out. Same thing. Roll it up. Spread it out, scoop up half, flick it back. Take some practice, you know, to do it that, that swift and easy. All right, show you how I roll it though. Roll, roll, big scoop like that. And I take it over here, here. Woo. Make sure you do that chalk line I have. And that's that. That's how you spread the mud on the footer. All right, so there are tons of ways to spread the mud on your block, all right? So the simplest way, I like to do it, is you gotta do it on a runner. So you gotta bite the insides first. So if I'm going on this side of my block, I put it on the this half of my trowel. This part's empty, you see that? So this head, this part. Swipe in, right? See how it gets that? When you get a little mortar on there, it makes it able for the rest of this to stick. You see I have that? You can see my trowel right there. You can just flick that right on the other side. So the other side, for this part, I put it on this half of my trowel. So again, you bite in. You can see my metal part of my trowel. Boom. Okay. I lay these eights. I grab them by the center probably easier if you do this I never put my trowel down yeah the easiest way I'll do it pick it up both sides like this squish it it's all on your wrist but whatever you supposed to use your trowel you know I'm just gonna use my hand quick and you just beat her down match the ears get that to the line you want to clean up your mud you want to reuse that you know Especially since I'm the guy mixing it. I don't want to keep mixing it all the time. Where so, do you want to go next? clean up. Again, in, out. That's how I always do it. In, out. This is how I usually lay them. I grab them by the center and the end. I have my trowel in my hand like that, just so I can flip it around and beat it to the line. Use mud every time, and you just do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. All right, I got my second course in here. So, second course rebar, you know, drilled down nice and tight, and then on the outside of your wall before you uh, parge it, you got little X's here that way you know where to core pour. All right, makes it real easy, and I'll put them on the top too before I parge it. Uh, spread some mud. Big scoop, slap this thing, right? And do a little twister upside down. Nose, twist, push down and slide. You want your trowel on a 45 degree angle. So you're pushing down and sliding at the same time. You're holding it only with your fingers. So you twist it. You don't really grip this thing. You know, it's real light in your hand. So same thing, big slap, rebar out the way. Find your nose like this. See, it's like a 45 off the block, pointing in that direction, I guess. See that twist, and you slide. Now the other way, it's a little harder, more definitely with your fingers. So the same thing, you're pointing like a 45 degree angle away from the wall, like that way. Nose, twist, again 45. This way too, down and slide at the same time. Down, and this way, in one motion. 
motion. You can go either way with it, you know. When you get good enough, you can spread both ways on the wall. But it's always easier when you're first starting to go backwards like that. All right, I'm gonna show you something here. If I wanna slam this head on the outside here, I want the mud on this half of my trowel, the same side as the block. And this one, it's pretty simple. You just slam it on there, boom, and it sticks. That's basically what I like to do on that side of the block. Always reuse your mud. And you come back and do this head. So this is how I do it every time on repeat. Reuse the mud, butter it up. This head, this side of your trowel, flick it on, clean the mud off. I always spin my trowel around in my hand like this. I grab this by the center. Whoop. And you just keep doing the same thing. Over and over. So, if these start to get too stiff on you, you want to strike them, which all you need for that is this little tool here and some mud in case there's some holes. So you want to use the back part of this. You don't want to use the nose because it'll scrape it out and it'll look like crap. You always want to do the heads first. You ride your dirt bike, right? You ever ride one? All you do is twist the handle. Boom, boom. All right, slam it in there. That's it. All you gotta do is make sure there's no holes. Slam it in there. Do all the heads first. Alright. Just so I don't waste your time here, I'm just gonna do a couple so you can see. So you do all the heads, pretend I did them all. Alright. Then you come back and do the beds again. You are only riding with this part. You see where it's building up? Right there. Looks good. That's it. When you're done with that, you gotta brush it. Alright, well, once you do them heads and the beds, you run through. Brush that thing off, make sure there's no holes. Do that all the way across. All right, once you brush the whole thing, it's reversed now. So you're gonna do the beds first, beds first, right, then the heads. So these things are called umbrellas, right? That's how you can tell what good block work is. If there's any umbrellas, they didn't really do a good job pointing. And if you can't get them out, you can just use your finger. And then also, I have existing stuff here that's already hard. You can use your finger to blend them together too. So this is, use your fingers and tools, right? And uh, that's how you make them uh, look nice. Done with that, you finish your wall, you wanna clean the footing off. So you don't want any of that stuff on there. On your top course, you're gonna wanna fill in all these head joints. And sometimes they use like uh, semi-solid blocks, but I just do that. I put a sill plate on there. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them.